Bonjour à vous tous, je suis Vincent Beaufils. Good morning everyone, I'm Vincent uh, Beaufils. I am a uh, Director of uh, Communication for Challenge and I welcome you here for the second uh, session of uh, Let's Safeguard the Common Goods, Chapter 1. It was last year, it wasn't in Toulouse, we were doing in visio remote uh, conferencing system. And the main uh, joy of this chapter is to gather thousands of uh, participants in different networks. And the main joy here is to have a public, a real public in person. And uh, we're very happy. Thank you very much for coming. And joys, the joy of being together here, being uh, physically present. Um, so we wish you a very warm welcome. To save, uh, safeguard the common goods, it should really calm everyone's spirits and minds. We can change life, uh, we are saying in this challenge in last uh, uh, week uh, edition, where you find all the interviews with uh, Christian Bouillet, who is a uh, director of, uh, and it was edited in a challenge and also in Depeche, and uh, Christian Goulier. And uh, we said we have to do more, and it was a very, it is a very good interview, very educating, uh, and uh, with all the uh, uh, TSE uh, researchers, with all the companies, researchers, experts, all the public also, uh, we are here because you can intervene, you can really uh, speak, uh, whether you are uh, in the room or you are in a social network, and before. I give the floor to him. I would like to give uh, to thank uh, Jean Guirol, who's a uh, honor uh, president, and uh, we've been working together for many months now. Jean Tirol and Christian, you have the floor to tell us about uh, these two uh, days, fascinating days. As uh, La Depeche said, you have it behind uh, you. La Depeche said it's, uh, it's, going to, it's going to be an eye opener. So we're going to open our eyes during those two days. Thank you very much, Vincent. I am very honored to launch this uh, summit here. For the second chapter, the world is really changing. Crises are very important, and they are uh, more and more frequent. Uh, the complexity of the world is great. Uh, we need to have a new highlight in public debates uh, so that uh, decision makers, public and private ones, uh, can uh, help us to go towards a better world. Common goods is uh, really uh, very important environment. We need to preserve it. We need to improve it in our wonderful country. And we have margins to do so. We have worked with the uh, challenge team. We have uh, developed uh, different uh, themes that are very, uh, really at the heart. Uh, of uh, our uh, uh, theme here, to have this exchange with uh, scientific, political uh, heads, uh, uh, people who are the head of companies, uh, managers, to be able to really build a consensus around this uh, topic. So I'm very excited and very impatient to see what is going to come out from uh, our debate uh, tomorrow at 12 o'clock. So I would like to thank uh, Challenge uh, for this wonderful work they have accomplished. Uh, and uh, to prepare these uh, two days, and also our uh, alma mater, uh, from the University of Toulouse, represented by President Lukenfak, and also by the uh, local uh, political authorities, were uh, a uh, important support here in Toulouse to build uh, the excellence that will allow us to go forward, and uh, I hope that we can really show it in a very uh, clear and uh, uh, fantastic way. Uh, we can show that scientific, also our colleagues throughout the world who are going to take part of uh, this exchange is to demonstrate that science is really useful to improve society at large. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful set. Mr. Mayor of Toulouse, Jean-Luc Moudin, uh, you have the floor. You can speak. You want to stay? Uh, you could go to the uh, tribune. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome us in your wonderful uh, city of Toulouse. Thank you.
I would like to say uh, to really give a salute to Jean Tirol who uh, organized uh, this event thanks to Challenge and to the uh, wonderful support of uh, University, Mr. President. Uh, thank you for organizing this uh, second edition, uh, second summit on uh, the common good. Common good is an old expression that uh, really sends us back to a vision that is uh, very important. It's very good to see it coming out again. Uh, over the past few years, uh, we are talking a lot about this common goods concept. And it is uh, a uh, vision of uh, future, a uh, uh, mind uh, set. This vision, uh, this uh, common good, puts the person, the human being, at the heart of any approach. And we need to remind that the uh, objectives or everyone's object, uh, initiatives is really to develop a uh, human uh, uh, and uh, the world has developed uh, greatly, very quickly. There are many, many crises that are uh, where we're losing sense. Uh, and to choose common sense as a concept, as a driving concept, is really a very important uh, point because uh, it will gather people around uh, this good. Good is something that uh, gathers. And the common uh, adjective uh, helps us to look uh, things, uh, things together. And I really pay tribute to this approach because we need to put together uh, political uh, heads, journalists, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, university researchers, university teachers, professors, so that we can build together solutions. It's together we can bring and take the project forward so that we can work together. And that uh, is really opposed to this trend that is really coming out in our society, that is the trend of being uh, very uh, individu individualist and uh, that uh, people do uh, things in a very selfish way. How can we define uh, common projects that we can all uh, really uh, support and uh, give a base to uh, our ambitions? You have chosen many topics, neutrality, carbon neutrality without losing uh, 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 force, uh, eat differently. I think we have many challenges to uh, uh, really uh, answer. Uh, we need to draw lessons to uh, pandemic, the future of uh, transportation, many, many topics that are really demanding and that will demand uh, common answers. The choice that is um, made today is to say, OK, the planet is uh, in danger. We are conscious of it. We need to speed up transitions. There is a real emergency. Having said that, we shouldn't really uh, get too pessimistic because the future should not be a symbol of regression and of uh, abandoning the idea of progress. Uh, the, this idea of progress comes from our history four centuries ago. And this idea of progress um, has another idea, which is the idea of developing uh, development. What is important in the approach you are proposing to us throughout the exchanges, uh, what is interesting is to say, what are the conditions we need to set in order to carry on with these uh, approaches of uh, progress and development, economic development, but uh, doing things differently, reducing, sometimes breaking certain choices that we have made in, in, the, in the past, in the last uh, decades. And we can see that those choices uh, are really uh, uh, counteracting. Uh, my, uh, I am convinced that uh, following that, uh, following this symposium, after all these exchanges and after the definition of uh, objectives, common objectives, it's really on the ground that can really we can enroll uh, all the points. We can't just have a conceptual intellectual approach. We are, as a mayor of Toulouse and uh, chairman of Metropole of Toulouse, I'm here to uh, grant you a very warm welcome, but also to tell 
you how convinced I am about, and it is a conviction that is really shared by many colleagues, mayors of big cities. Once the objectives are defined, it's really local actors who can really make them concrete. And amongst those actors, you have big cities and metropoles. Uh, to deny uh, the action of uh, big cities uh, has become a political uh, uh, posture uh, that is uh, really uh, uh, done uh, in, uh, in our country. During the presiden presidential election, we could see Mrs. Le Pen and Mr. Mélenchon were saying the same thing because they didn't want any uh, action of uh, cities, uh, any action of municipalities. And they were asking for this. Uh, but for the objectives that we need to really meet is not uh, giving, uh, 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 taking power away from cities that we're going to achieve anything. Big cities, metropole, have, uh, they are encountering many issues, uh, like the objective of uh, creating a society, uh, a city that uh, where we can breathe better, that can be greener. But I think it's the city which has the key uh, to the solutions. We know the issues, we know the solutions, now we need to go for it. And we need to really multiply uh, the actions and uh, concrete projects. Within the same uh, ideas, I want to quote a new uh, achievement uh, by the um, Toulouse Metropole in accordance with the uh, region and department, is the new uh, exhibition hall, the myth uh, this, uh, of this wonderful uh, meeting place. We have conceived it uh, with uh, a criteria that really match, I think, uh, today's expectations. It is a huge equipment, but it is uh, green. It has positive energy. Uh, it produces more energy that is uh, consumes energy, and it is a great leverage for uh, economic uh, development eating differently too. There again, it is a great demand, a very new demand from our, uh, from people. And it is um, very important to see that in consumption policies, what we have in our, in our plate, cities, uh, regions, metropoles have really uh, uh, taken uh, into account uh, these new stakes and they have uh, risen to, the, to, to them. And we have uh, really uh, put together, we're developing a cooperation with uh, rural territories that are very near geographically. The idea is to develop uh, short uh, circuits uh, to promote uh, organic, but not just organic uh, products. If you just do organic, it, it's actually uh, making things uh, poor, poorer. Uh, authentic products, rural products, uh, they need to be uh, labelized and encouraged. And I hope that uh, Toulouse people and uh, inhabitants are really uh, fed by the big regions around. And we're multiplying collaborations with uh, uh, different uh, uh, communities and cities and villages around Toulouse in the region so that, so that this link between the rural world and the urban well, there are always uh, certain uh, political uh, speeches that want to oppose them, these two words. We want to actually integrate them thanks to this new challenge of uh, feeding. But uh, public health, what we um, uh, what we uh, felt with uh, what we went through with the pandemic, we knew that a strategy had to be national uh, with the pandemic. But uh, if you want to uh, have an action on the ground, a very uh, positive uh, and uh, efficient action, you know, the president of the Republic said the, uh, this new idea of the couple uh, relationship between the mayor and the prefect. Uh, meant that the state could only see its strategy being developed positively only thanks to the commitment of uh, mayors and uh, locally elected representatives. And I'm sure that on public health, our country will have to produce reforms to change the role of actors and to allow 
not just the national strategy with a national vision for public health issues, but to take into account uh, analysis of, uh, on the ground and on, uh, on the different regions. And that goes through uh, locally elected representatives in Toulouse, the uh, uh, election, uh, uh, the municipality team has taken a new commitment. It's a new one, a new commitment. It's to have a house, a, uh, a health uh, center for every uh, uh, every area of Toulouse. It exists also in urban areas here in uh, Toulouse. We speak about uh, desertification of health centers in uh, rural areas, but it happens also in urban areas because the structure and the mindsets of uh, GPs has uh, nothing to do with the image we had of the traditional GP we had and we knew years ago. So here to have a pluridisciplinary uh, health center with many different uh, uh, specialists is really the idea of uh, common goods. We put things, we put goods uh, uh, together, and we go forward with the health of people uh, in mind. And last, uh, I think I have talked for a long time. But on mobility questions, of course, they are paramount issues in a metropole. The metropole is developing, uh, therefore you need to move, and on mobility issues we need to invest a lot, but also invest differently in order to really uh, make sure that uh, the natural course of things uh, go down and that uh, our uh, citizens take uh, public transports or decarbonated transport. We have uh, inaugurated Teleo. Uh, this weekend is the biggest uh, urban telepheric in France. It's uh, really something uh, absolutely new, and uh, uh, it allows to uh, go from 30 minutes to reduce the uh, traveling time from 30 minutes to 10 minutes uh, with electrical uh, means. And uh, we have also uh, planted 2,000 trees in this area. And in seven months now, we are launching a big work in Toulouse, which is a third line of Metropolitan. Uh, it is really a very, very uh, big uh, work. It will be the biggest after uh, the ones that are conducted by Paris and Ile-de-France, Paris region. And we have done things together with the region to uh, work with uh, uh, the um, with the tra trains, and it, it's going to allow to suppress 90,000 cars per day and to have 200,000 uh, travelers per day on this new line and to help uh, this deco decarbonization of uh, uh, Toulousean transports. Uh, a few ideas, uh, a few examples of what we're doing here in Toulouse, and I'm very impatient to uh, uh, see the exchanges uh, and the conclusions, because if we have projects, we need to see them, revisit them, develop them again, thanks to what you are all going to give as a new outlook and as a new experience uh, for our territory. Many, many, many thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We're going to speak later uh, tomorrow about the new mobility. I'm going to ask uh, Nadia Belfig to give us uh, her feeling. She's representing the region Occitanie, vice president of the region, as you know. Uh, thank you, Mr. Borfis. Good morning to everyone. Thank you, dear President, uh, for your wonderful welcome here in this uh, Death Park Amphitheater with Maxime Boyer, President of uh, Metropole Administrator. I say hello to you, Maxime. So we're very happy to be here, and we often we were here as students years ago in a uh, uh, droit public, uh, public uh, law, and uh, political science, and the questions of environmental qu questions at the time were not uh, were not as as important as today. It is important to exchange. And uh, I was in Paris yesterday on questions of mobility, European mobility. 
in the underground uh, I saw inscriptions that said uh, tonight it's bug uh, no it's a GIAC uh, report yes I'm very serious there is a bug uh, uh, showing a, a planet a hand uh, showing a planet and there's a QR code to see the uh, report summary of GIEC and there's a collective uh, of young uh, students uh, young professionals who really regret the fact that the uh, report uh, published uh, by the GIEC and uh, and it, it was uh, completely no, no one took any uh, attention of it and uh, the idea was really to reinforce the knowledge on this subject because there are many scientific approximations and sometimes it doesn't help the capacity for us to find collective solutions. The GIAC report says that we should have 1.5% 10 years earlier. It says in a very clear way that uh, uh, human beings and our activities have an impact on, on uh, global warming. Uh, it says that uh, models are denounced because they actually increase and the model was more optimistic than what we uh, can see uh, regarding uh, the um, ice uh, cap um, uh, problems. So the whole of the uh, natural uh, resources of the uh, Earth, if they were cons if this, we had the same consumption as we had here in France, we, sh we would have uh, really gone well beyond the uh, normal resources and would have used them. After uh, the uh, uh, agreements uh, of Paris, we should really be extremely concerned about it. But we are, uh, uh, we have a life, uh, our lives. We have a political uh, agenda, and we need to really get back to this uh, actuality, to these news that are not very desirable. But we need to be very, very concerned about it, and we need to act to take action, thinking about our children, because our youth uh, show us well before we have adopted the Green Pact, uh, thanks to Carole Delga in November 2020, uh, there are lots of uh, young people were challenging this. And amongst the three main concerns for of citizens, there was environmental issues. And yet, uh, during the last uh, political debate we had in France, we spoke more about uh, uh, how we were spending our money and um, if we could, if we had enough uh, financial uh, power to um, leave. And uh, but the society demands constraints, uh, lots of sacrifices, and the cost. Uh, uh, the uh, ecological action is also can also uh, produce uh, economic goods. Nicholas Stern in 2006, uh, lots of uh, very good economists abroad, uh, wrote about the cost of the uh, climatic inaction, saying that as long as we don't. Uh, act uh, publicly to really um, uh, constrain this uh, the, uh, climate, uh, climate change. Uh, the cost increases by uh, five folds the uh, consequences uh, rather than if we had started uh, acting earlier. It is a cost for uh, public finances, of course. And we see that here in Occitany. We have draft, we have seven oil, we have uh, wine growers who uh, have to put uh, fire in their uh, uh, vineyards because uh, to uh, try to save their uh, uh, wine because of uh, frost. The cost is really important for society at large. The cost of inaction is really important economically for companies. And so the pandemic was really, uh, really revealed all this uh, mind consciousness and awareness awareness of uh, consciousness in the fluxes because we don't really localize our productions. 
Here we have worked on a thematic that is the uh, uh, how do territories work, how we can produce here and how can we produce in the same region and consume in the same region, not in a, a uh, withdrawal uh, vision, but really in a vision that really saves lots of logistical costs and to ensure in our, region, in our uh, situation today with the war in Ukraine, uh, so uh, with problems linked with uh, logistic, uh, which uh, energy called cost has a huge impact today. With the prefect, a few uh, weeks ago, we had uh, a meeting with uh, transportation and logistic companies. And as you know, the impact on energy on these products, even when they are transported, can apply to all sectors of uh, society. Uh, if we have uh, really uh, progressed a lot in terms of uh, uh, emission of uh, uh, greenhouses gas, in Asia, those costs have really exploded. So we are transporting the production from Asia to Europe or to Occitanie. The log logistical costs and the rupture of uh, logistics and the impact on ecology are paramount at costs that cannot be accepted anymore. So any inaction today uh, from environmental point of view is cr it's a crime. It's a crime for uh, society models and it's criminal uh, for the impact of people, men and women, and the uh, uh, Health World Organization says that the impact of uh, uh, these uh, climate changes on uh, people's health uh, consequences are really important and very negative. I wish that we had have the competencies to act. If we have science, we have knowledge. Those who produce uh, company uh, managers and uh, public uh, forces, we can build solutions. In Occitanie, those solutions can be uh, sped up, uh, financing uh, key challenges. Uh, with our researchers, we can better know the phenomenon that are happening today, and we can produce solutions, Bio bio biodiversity, for example, on uh, many on across uh, boarding uh, uh, land, escape, uh, scope, sorry, we can uh, find solutions. Uh, with the University of Montpellier, we've done that. We uh, really uh, worked on Franca on hydrogen, uh, a 35 million investment. We have found the scientific solution economic models that will allow us not just to uh, give uh, these uh, kind of engines for trains, for planes with green hydrogen, but how can we do it at an average low cost? We can have a, a green hydrogen, but use it on collective transportation systems. We can't do it. And if you can't do it at an acceptable economic cost, uh, it's not going to be a solution. This is why we also investing on capacity of producing hydrogen in high volumes that are useful and that's investment we are carrying out uh, near Chamberger in uh, Bézier too. Investments, they are, uh, we need to do them in science, on infrastructure, and uh, infrastructures that will allow us to build the future and to really attenuate uh, tomorrow. And uh, we have infrastructures that are used by many citizens like uh, So, even if some activities are are not part of our uh, scope of activity, we have decided to have a more cycling path, which has a lot of benefits for the public. First, those uh, who are riding the bikes are, are, are not uh, uh, financed uh, by us. Those buying a car are paying for it, uh, even, even if it's possible sometimes to benefit from some public aid may happen. We are doing it here in the region. We are helping some people to buy their cars, electric cars, etc. So, uh, uh, but uh, we have to think public transport in a different way, especially in order to combine the various 
parce que nous sommes dans une université. Parce que je crois à ce modèle. What I actually wish is for us to go on investing because we have to develop future skills and competencies. We are not really sure about what jobs will be in the future. That's true for 90% of potential jobs. In our region, we have an entity called INCO and uh, under the aegis of Nicolas Hazard, and they have written a book on the 21 jobs of uh, tomorrow. There may be even many more. But what it shows, what it illustrates, the fact that we will have to invest, to invest massively uh, in order to uh, uh, train uh, the uh, future workers in these uh, future jobs. Our responsibility is a global one. It covers both the companies, the businesses. Uh, it includes the academic world. Uh, It includes all the trainers, and uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, we should opt for non-fractured society. Uh, we mustn't live in a society which is against against choices, against uh, some people's interests. We must. Uh, do away uh, with, uh, with uh, fracture, uh, with uh, the rejection of uh, aging, and uh, with the non-respect of environmental issues. We have to do exactly the contrary. We have to work so that uh, we can build progress for the majority, and we don't want progress to impact and to put the heavy pressure on all with the same categories of citizens. We must at least uh, do our best to make our future generations' lives uh, equal or even better than ours. That's why we have to act all together. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Pellefig, for uh, your speech. Beach, but uh, we are extremely honored because uh, the dean of our university, Mr. Kenfak, has been able to join. And you have got three minutes, Mr. Kenfak. Three minutes, nothing more. Not a minute more. We are extremely sorry, but because then we have uh, to join the global meeting, the video meeting, too. In three minutes, your time will be up. I'm sorry. Mr. Prandin. I've got three minutes. I've just been told. So, welcome. Welcome, everybody here at uh, University Toulouse Capital. We're extremely honored uh, to welcome you all, and uh, and uh, uh, I'm delighted to, 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 to see here uh, the Lord Mary of Toulouse, Mr. Moudang, Mrs. Pellefig, the Vice President of uh, the region. And uh, uh, I think it's extremely valuable to have a meeting, a gathering, Uh, egregious economists, egregious academics uh, to deal uh, with uh, aging, uh, with uh, transportation uh, revolution, with uh, global change, etc., etc. Uh, this is a fantastic uh, project uh, supported by uh, TSE, Toulouse School of Economics, and by our university, Toulouse Capital. Well, the uh, global uh, COVID crisis uh, and uh, how has uh, revealed many issues and uh, the inequality in education. But this is true everywhere and also in our country, in France. And uh, this doesn't uh, help uh, the economic recovery, although the fundamental question is the following. Uh, as uh, uh, said, uh, stated by Jean Tirole, which society would we uh, like to live in? This is a question we can all ask ourselves. Where 
would I like uh, to study? In which university uh, would I like uh, to, to, to uh, carry out uh, higher studies? And our university, Toulouse Capital, is the place to bring its contribution, valuable contribution, and to give the best possible answers to all these issues and questions. And I'd like to pay tribute to Jean Tirole and to uh, uh, Mr. Grolier for staging uh, this event. Of course, I'm not going to introduce uh, Toulouse School of Economics. I'm not going to introduce uh, Toulouse School of Management, uh, which are so uh, well known. They do work on all these topics. They work in uh, multidisciplinary and cross-border fashion. And it's quite essential to have this multidisciplinary approach. This should be at the core of our approach, of our vision. Our university wants really to highlight, highlight uh, the level of excellence by extending its international scope thanks to a permanent action, thanks to international summits like this summit, because we have uh, a far-reaching international ambition at uh, national and international level. So this event of today and tomorrow is a real landmark for our university and uh, uh, quite uh, crucial for our university. L last year, you had a very, very successful first uh, edition. And uh, you have already uh, uh, scored uh, a goal, but you will have uh, to score a next goal this year uh, with uh, this uh, second edition. And you are going to clearly highlight and stress the fact that uh, uh, you, our university uh, ranks among the best 14 universities uh, in uh, this uh, sector of studies. But you'll come back here. Uh, next year, and and you'll be hosted by uh, Toulouse Capital University, which will go on uh, highlighting, laying the stress on French excellence uh, to the benefit of the common good. Have a very very good working day. Promised, promised. You'll have uh, more time to talk, Mr. Dean. Thanks very much to all of you. Thanks very much for these uh, kind opening words. Deuxième sommet sauver le bien commun, et nous allons avoir dans quelques minutes. We are going to start the first session in a minute. Merci à vous, à vous quatre, d'avoir été avec moi. Merci.